Our second question is approximately, I can't say that word, approximately, <laughs> how much is it to study abroad for a semester, visa, papers, etc.? This question was a combination of questions between Ash by underscore Trotter and Bluer Moons. I think I know what you were going there. I can't even speak right now. Okay, <laughs> move right <around. laughs> to answer the question. <laughs> Um, so there's no, like, an exact price for study abroad, and there's really no way to, like, calculate a price because once you go abroad, you're going to be spending probably more, much more than you think you are. I definitely did. Um, Souvenirs. Yeah, really. yeah. From everywhere. Maybe food in general. Like, yeah. Whoa. Oh, my God. <laughs> traveling. Good. I mean, and when I was going abroad, everyone's like, oh, like, tra if you go to Europe, traveling to, like, other countries in Europe is so cheap. My mind cheap is like twenty five bucks for a flight. <laughs> I mean, like, if you book far enough in advance and use Ryanair, yeah. <laughs> Ryanair, yeah, but yeah. I did not do that. I booked like a week in advance, and it was like two hundred dollars for a flight. So I, know, I booked in advance for a trip to London from Ireland, and it was like eighty euro round trip for a flight on Ryanair. See, so don't be stupid like me. You just got to plan ahead, and that's like why Ryanair and pray. It's fine. Just pray. 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 <laughs> they <laughs> always <laughs> land. I shouldn't say that. Yeah. Well, in some capacity. Yeah. <laughs> it will touch the ground. <laughs> you usually get there in one piece. <laughs> Just don't use the bathroom on the flight because it will cost you extra. Everything costs extra in Ryanair. <laughs> but the flight is so cheap. <laughs> and it's a short flight. You yeah. don't need the bathroom. It's like the mega bus for airplanes. Yeah, yeah that's true. Uh, but going back to the question... Um, so definitely the first things you want to look into are if you don't have a passport, getting that really early, because that can take a few months. And visa papers. I didn't have to get visa papers because I wasn't in London uh, long enough to need visa papers, but if you're planning on getting a job while you're over there, you do need them. Um, so check out um, the requirements, like figure out how long you're going to be there. Uh, I think it's six months. I you don't know. Papers? I didn't have to. I, didn't I have looked to get at a her because I figured she'd be the one. To I did know. not have to get a visa for Ireland because they have a special relationship with the United States, uh, and <laughs> yeah, yeah we we had to she like, get a student secret. card. No, we had to get a student card, and it cost three hundred euro, um, and yeah, it was like super simple um, to get. It was really funny because I was coming through customs. I was coming back from London and Ireland, and there were these two guys in front of me who were studying abroad, I, don't know, I think they were in Spain or something, they come to Dublin, they were messing around, and the customs official saw them and yelled at them, I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm also American. He's going to think I'm with them, and I'm not. And he yelled at them when they went through, and I went up and I gave him my passport and my, my card, and I'm like, hello, sir, it's nice to see you. I mean, I'm, I'm coming back, don't deport me. Uh, and he looks at my, my card and he goes, oh, they made you pay the 300 euro. And I said, yep, and he goes, that's a shame. Stamp, you're in. And I'm like, but yeah, they, so you didn't have to pay that. Could you get out? I, I, no, I had to pay the three hundred euro. But the guard was just like, oh, "This is ridiculous. They shouldn't make you have to pay the study here." And I'm like, "I feel the same." Yeah, I didn't have to do that for London. Oh, so maybe you should go to London. So I don't maybe know. maybe they have a Probably. better relationship. <laughs> um, but my flight was expensive, just the yeah. round trip, which was expected. But you got to make sure you calculate that in. I think it was like a little over a thousand dollars for yeah. that. Um, but actually. Staying in I in London now I think I stayed in Ireland. Staying in London was cheaper than staying at URI because uh, at the time I was living in a sorority house, so the prices were a little expensive. Um, so like room and board was cheaper, meal plans were cheaper, but we also only got two meal plan. I mean two meals a day instead of three or like unlimited that you do at school. Um, I it was super cheap because we didn't have one. You know meal plan? <laughs> Not in Ireland. That oh. was, uh, we stayed in a, a long-term hotel, essentially, so we just, we didn't have a cafeteria. It was so they had, like, a kitchen for you? Yep. Oh, that's good. Yep. I feel like they have to uh, supply Oh, there was a kitchen, yeah, yeah. If you don't have a kitchen. dining hall. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but we had to, we had to get all our own groceries. Um, Little and Aldi are great. They're omnipresent Aldi. in Europe, and Aldi is now making a chance in the U.S. What up? Aldi? Aldi. There is an Aldi near me, like, at home. Yep. Yeah. It's the it's like in Salem, right? I don't know if you could near Salem, but... Yeah. Yeah. Salem, Mass? New Hampshire. I would drive up to Salem, New Hampshire. <laughs> Actually, I'm close to Salem, New Hampshire. Yeah. I've sure. never heard of Aldi. 
It's kind of yeah. weird. It's a little weird. It's a little weird, but... Walk in. It's what kind of food is it? Unorganized, do you think? No. I mean, I'm I'm used to the way it was because that that was one of my grocery oh, yeah. stores in Europe. Um, but oh, it's, it's like a amazing. grocery I feel like. store. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Restaurant. Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> grocery store. Grocery oh, okay. store. Little Aldi and Tesco. Uh, and make sure you go to Tesco, not Tesco es- Express, because Tesco Express is basically like a gas station convenience store, and mm-hmm. things are up charge. Yeah. We had Sainsbury's in London. That was pretty nice. Do you have um, Spencer's? No, Marks and Spencer's, that's it. We did have Spencer's. It was on Marks and Spencer's um, and Dunn's. Street, so it was more expensive. Dunn's is also good. Um, I went there. That was like one of the things we had to do was like go there and then also get um, chicken from Nando's. When I went there, I was like, those are the two Nando's. things. Nando's. <laughs> Nando's. And I yes. was like, oh, that needs to come. really cool. Yeah, they have Massachusetts. it. They do have Nando's in the U.S., in but not in Massachusetts. It's in New York. You're talking about Nando's Perry Perry? Nando's Perry Perry. Like, it's the chicken place? Oh, yeah, the chicken place. Yeah, they have them in Chicago. (laughs) Yep, they have it in Chicago. They have it in Washington. (laughs) They do not have it in the U.S. I don't know if it's as popular here, but it was really really good. Yeah, it It depends on the um, cultures around you. Yeah. But they have it in Washington. They have it in Chicago. Um, They need it in Mass. I agree. They have really good Perry Perry sauce. I'm surprised Nando's hasn't made it across the Nando's, come to Boston. Nando's. What up? <laughs> Tag in. No, but I went to London to visit one of my friends, and that's, like, one thing. Like, this can't be the case for everyone, mm-hmm. but I was super fortunate to make really good friends that lived um, in London and near mm-hmm. Manchester. So um, even though I didn't get to study abroad for a whole semester, they were super awesome in letting me come visit them for a while mm-hmm. and stay with them. And... The cool thing about that is you have a lot more flexibility. So when I booked my flights, I could look for, like, when traveling there was, like, the cheapest. And, I mean, my round-trip flights were, like, $300 for that. Cause total I went in, or like, each? Total. What? It was in, yeah, I went, in, um, I went in January last year. And <laughs> just having a place to stay there, like, I mean, that's one thing. Like, you know, if you make friends with people or, like, know people that you could maybe go with and stay in, like, cheaper accommodations for a shorter time. Because I feel like people think they have to study abroad like that's the only time they'll get to travel when they're in college but there's so many opportunities to, yep. to do that after and like you'll have time so if you can't afford it like if your school doesn't offer like yep. good funding or like opportunities for scholarships with study abroad I would just say don't feel like you have to yep. because there's no point in like breaking the bank when you can like have those experiences yeah. later you know so. yeah it's and my, a lot of my friends came and visited me when I was abroad for like oh, yeah. a week yep. during um spring break um, and they just slept on my floor, so all they had to pay for <laughs> was the flight. <laughs> they were, I'm like, okay, if you're comfortable on the floor, yeah. that's where you're busy. I don't have a lot of room. But, yeah, if you have friends who are going abroad and you can't go for the full semester, maybe just go for a week, sleep yep. on their floor. Yeah, that's a good idea, too. Sleep on anyone's floor. Also, wrapping back to <laughs> the question. <laughs> <Not enough. laughs> uh, wrapping back to the question, uh, I have two things. First, um, about no. visas. Uh, I actually had a friend who was a, um, he had dual citizenship. Uh, he, his family's from Wales, so he was able to get dual citizenship there. And if you're, like, under 18 and get, and you have, like, the ability to get dual European citizenship and you're thinking of going to school in Europe, uh, definitely do that because under 18, it's relatively cheap in the span of things. Like, um, I could technically have gotten my Italian citizenship and it would have cost, like, $200, $200, so I'm going to say it's 100 bucks. Um, and if you have an EU passport in uh, a lot of countries within the EU, uh, you can study and live and work anywhere in the EU without extra charge. So, like, if I had gotten my Italian passport when I was 17 uh, and been a dual citizen of the U.S. and um, Italy, I could have studied in Ireland for free. Or not for free, but, like, without paying the extra amount. (laughs) Who knows this? (laughs) Me. (laughs) Um, Enjoy this while we have it. Also, also, uh, the, like, we were saying the overall cost, like, changes, um, but you can get scholarships. Uh, If you have a program through your school, if your school is, like, super pro students going abroad, ask the financial aid office if you can, or the study abroad office if you can get extra scholarship to study abroad because a lot of schools like Champlain, it didn't cost me any extra 
technically speaking. Uh, like I think housing was a little bit extra, uh, but it didn't cost any more tuition wise than it did going to Champlain. Um, because it was within the school. Uh, but if you go to like third party programs, it might cost you more, it might cost you less. So look into things like that. Look into scholarships to save that money. Yeah, um, I think we also talked about um, high school earlier too. Yep. And if you were like me, going from paper route to uh, retail, <laughs> saving up money, save up your money and so that you can do stuff like that when you get there. Um, I know obviously college is already expensive and this question is expressing that how do I even get to that point where I can mm -hmm. travel a bar, a bar, a bar, a bar <laughs> and uh, feel comfortable doing so? Uh, work when you can, um, save up. Uh, that, again, is why junior year is probably the most comfortable, too, because yeah. you get more of a nest egg that you can use and uh, abuse. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think that uh, it, it really depends on the person and what, where you're going, how much it costs to live there. Because uh, food in Ireland is going to be a lot more expensive than if you go to China. Like Prague. Or, yeah, yeah, wherever. Um, so there's a, so many things to consider and that's why we can't give you a straight answer yeah. to this question. Also look up things like cost of living, mm -hmm. um, just so that you're research. more aware, yeah. You know, like what the prices are for like regular groceries mm -hmm. that you'd normally want to buy, prices for going out, you know, the exchange rate. I was not very good at figuring out the exchange rate.